What is up guys, Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here and on today's video we are going to be getting into my junk removal side hustle that's starting to become a main hustle. I got to admit I've watched a lot of people on YouTube. I want to give a shout out to Sonoma Strong Hauling. Um, those guys are awesome. I spoke to Matt really briefly a couple weeks ago. I hope to get him on the channel at some point. He and his wife, I think that's an awesome model they have going there with the team. Uh, that they created and the branding is on point. So big shout out to those guys uh, for helping me on my junk removal journey, if you will. Today, guys, we're gonna get in to a few jobs um, that I'm doing. It's Wednesday, it's 6.45 in the morning. I got into the office early. Typically now with my schedule, to give you guys a little update, Tyler's doing just over 600 stops a week residential with the one truck. We're happy with the business where it is right now. Um, let me know if you guys got residential businesses that you started up. Uh, if you started them up since I started this channel and we did speak on the phone, where are you at now? How's your residential business doing if you can do it in your area? Also, my father's doing roll-off dumpsters. We're slowing down up here in the Northeast. Uh, cold mornings, you know, 40 degrees right now in the morning. Uh, I think our, our lowest morning here was in the high 30s over the last week. So we're, we're coming into the slower season. We're renting about seven to 10 dumpsters a week still, which is good, but that's gonna drop off here soon with the snow, of course, and the frost uh, gonna be coming and people are not gonna be cleaning out so much. I do wanna give a little shout out here, a little plug to my buddy, Joey Bernardi. He's just started Coffee Space, guys. He works in corporate America. Uh, he's a really good friend of mine, and he's starting a side hustle. And uh, I mean, hopefully one day it can become his main hustle. But uh, basically, guys, Coffee Space, from what he's told me and what I've researched on my own, is this is a marketplace for coffee roasters, guys. If you know of a coffee roaster locally um, that wants to sell their products online, Joey has an awesome platform. Um, I'm going to put the link. It's uh, coffeespaceco.com is the website, but I'm also going to put a link below, guys. He's got $10 off your first order right now when you sign up for the mailing list. And this is direct ship to you coffee, fresh coffee coming basically from any of the roasters that are on his site, which he's adding roasters monthly right now. But yeah, I want to give a little plug to him. We're going to put uh, his stuff in the videos because I really want to try to help him get off the ground. This is not sponsored or anything like that, guys. You know, we're, we're, him and I are like best friends. The dude was in my wedding and I'm just trying to help him out. So if you guys like coffee, if you drink coffee, check out that uh, that coffeespaceco.com and order, order yourself up a couple cups worth. Uh, so without further ado, guys, I'm going to go over a little bit of housekeeping stuff here in the office this morning, show you guys kind of how I'm, I'm keeping track of stuff now, some processes and procedures I'm uh, doing. We're also going to show you the 7x12 dump trailer that's completely built. You know, father and I, in a couple days time, put the tin on the sides, built it up. I'm going to explain the wood we use. I'm going to explain the cost. And then uh, show you guys a couple uh, junk removal jobs, get into the gross revenue of the day. Now, this is going to be the gross revenue for just what I bring in, just doing these jobs myself. This is, no, you know, no employee riding with me, just little jobs that I, you know, picked up and how many hours it took me to do them total. Include some dump fees in there, guys. Include some fuel fees in there uh, for you as well. So you can get a real net cost if you guys are trying to uh, start up a junk removal um, business. Uh, this is me just ground zero, starting with, with practically nothing. I have the equipment already because I use it for other things. But uh, I'm new to it. I'm new to marketing it. I'm uh, new to pricing it. So I'm going to take this journey and, uh, and share it with you guys. So without further ado, guys, let's hop in here with some housekeeping in the office. So as far as housekeeping goes, guys, insurance card for the new F600, hook lift truck, uh, dumpster invoice up there. This is going to be like past due stuff residential. There's probably about 35 of those invoices, I think, out of 600 and something. Not terrible, but past due is like 15 to 30 days. I, I If anything goes past 30 days, I just pick up the cart and cancel the service. Obviously, you know, break down all of our receipts, anything from like a bank deposit. A lot of our stuff goes in um, ACH online or credit card uh, processing through QuickBooks, which automates a lot of things. But uh, just, you know, lay all the receipts out. I actually put everything in bags and then put them into like a mailer to send to my accountant. And uh, it just it just keeps stuff organized, guys. So when the month gets crazy and you got a ton of paperwork, you're not shoving them in your truck center console uh, and trying to organize them last minute. So the new seven by 12 dump trailer, guys, we got it all built up. Sides, interior height, just over six foot so you can walk inside of it. This does have the bigger tires on it. So these tires are the same that are on my roll off trailer. Did some boards in the back. My dad has a lot of like plain down pine wood, so that was free, which was pretty cool. And then interior wise, just two by four framing, 
uh, all pressure treated stuff and uh, some pine boards on top and then some pressure treated stuff on the bottom. All in all guys, I would say this is around like 15 yards if I had to guess uh, size wise. And uh, I've used it for a couple jobs so far and it's worked out awesome. Uh, cost wise total, like I said in the other video, I think I was right around 9,200 out the door after tax for the trailer itself, brand new 2022. Uh, and I also have about $400 in material and that's that current COVID pricing on wood that includes the tin and the pressure treated wood. But some of the wood that we use, like the whole top border and those backboards were free because my dad has a lot of uh, wood on his property and he planes down boards. So yeah, I would say if we didn't have access to that free wood, you'd be around the $500 mark all in with hardware and everything uh, to build your sides up like this. So we're at uh, clean out number one, guys. Uh, we got Roger from RKS with us here this morning. And, uh, pretty much they're loading up the trailer. Like we showed you the new one. We got quite a bit of stuff in here, but the metal stuff we're not going to take. Like they're, the customer is going to take all the metal stuff, either to the dump or the scrap yard. So it's mainly this pile of furniture and stuff here. And then that pile over there. Um, what we'll do with Roger is he'll book these jobs and then sometimes just use us for the trucking portion of it. So they'll make their money on the cleaning out and then we make our money on the trucking and we work together. Um, we got a bigger one coming up later this week, a house eviction. That one uh, I'd like to take a video of, but I don't think legally we're going to be able to. But yeah, just working together. Uh, Roger kind of does RKS. They do kind of everything um, in our area from contracting to junk removal. Uh, but it's good to you know work together with your local haulers. All right, guys, so we're sitting in line at the landfill. We are filled up uh, with the first, um, I guess you'd say load of the day. Roger from RKS, actually, we have some carpets and some furniture, so this will be a nice little clean out. For me, uh, the loading of it took about 15 minutes. There was three of us. Uh, I was gonna charge them just $200 for the trucking plus the dump fees, because it's just a couple miles from the landfill here. Um, but this is gonna probably turn into a $300 uh, plus job. So. This one, guys, and then the next one we're going to go to started as a four hundred or a two hundred dollar job. We're going to see how much it actually turns out to be because the customer texted me just that now this morning saying there might be double the stuff. So we'll see if we can make a little extra money on this next one. Alrighty, guys, out here at clean out number two. Not too too much stuff. Take you guys in here, show you around. Just some typical junk. Uh, nothing nothing too major. Uh, a lot of cardboard, so I don't think it's going to weigh very much, which will be good. We'll see how much of the trailer it takes up and then get into uh, how we price this job. And then we'll get into talking about the, the all new hook lift and what my plans are with that and the junk removal. If any of you guys are doing mainly junk removal, uh, I know some, some of you on YouTube are. Uh, I know some of the calls that I do are mainly about dumpster rentals and junk removal because you can't do residential trash where you are because the city has like a contract on lock. Let me know in the comments below what would you guys charge for the load behind me there? I'll do a little walk around of it and throw it in the comments below. All right, guys. So a few minutes later, about 10 to be exact, we are all loaded up. Certain items like this, I let the customers know we can't take them. Obviously, any gasoline, oil, hazardous stuff we can't take. But uh, yeah. Looks a little better in here. We're not going to take that little uh, space heater, but everything's loading up in the trailer. Go to the dump and see what the dump fee is on this guy. So guys, clean out number three, nothing major, little mini fridge. Uh, certain stuff like this we can get rid of. It's just large refrigerator that we don't bring to the landfill uh, in the electronics area. But uh, yeah, basically we have a couple garbage cans. I mean, I don't even think yeah there's just like some hoses and stuff in there but now guys we're going to get into pricing and the breakdown of uh, the three cleanouts we did today all right guys so those are the three cleanouts that we completed now we're going to get into the dump fees the last one as i showed you guys we're not actually we didn't actually go to the dump with just that we are going to put that in our residential truck and throw it in with one of the routes but for all general purposes that would have been the dump minimum so i'm going to use a 30 dollars dump fee although it's going to be less than that just to give you guys perspective as if uh, in case you you know you don't have a residential route or you can't put that with another junk removal load so we're just so you guys know there's going to be three slips here there was technically four loads into the dump and now let's get into some expenses uh, to give you the net profit of the work that i did today so our gross revenues guys um job number one 
We had uh, the two loads that went into the dump. Roger paid the dump fees completely. So for the trucking of those loads, which was about a total of six miles round trip between the two loads, uh, we did $250 plus tax. So that was gonna be job number one. And the only expense on that, of course, is gonna be time and fuel. Job number two, uh, that one, we that was the one that uh, I asked you guys to comment on. That was the second job in that little old barn. Um, that job, we went 250 plus tax. That included his dump fee, um, which we'll get into here in a minute. And then the third job uh, was the job that we didn't bring to the dump yet. We're gonna use a dump fee of 30, and that job was 225 plus tax. In total, round trip between all three jobs, uh, from leaving the shop to back at the shop was about four hours uh, of work. Um, so now guys, we're gonna get into, uh, I'm gonna use the hourly rate by the way of 20 bucks an hour. Cause if you guys were to have somebody doing this, uh, I feel like $20 an hour is a fair um, amount to pay them. Uh, or if you pay yourself that or pay yourself more, that's all up to you. But we're gonna use 20 bucks an hour. It was four hours of work. And uh, now we'll get into the fuel expenses uh, as well as the dump fees to see what the net profit was on these three total jobs, which added up to uh, $725 gross for the four hours of work. All right, so we'll start with dump fees, guys. As you can see, the dump minimum here is 30 bucks, regardless of what you go in. Um, to give you an example, 0 0.40 ton is $30 or uh, 0.015 ton is $30, that's the minimum. This one in the middle here is point, uh, almost one ton, basically it's 9.97, um, $69. Again, Roger paid for this and he also paid for this. So these are not gonna come out of our $250 that we got from him. So these two here, we're gonna be able to fold up, throw away. That was not in our expenses. So job number two, slide over here, $30 dump fee guys, which is, is as small as it's gonna be unless you put it with multiple loads. Uh, and the, the amount of waste was, it, it was just bulky, it wasn't heavy. It was a lot of cardboard boxes, big unbroken down boxes. Um, I probably could have put this with the third load, but I was a little nervous uh, judging by what the guy said he had. Um, uh, and what he sent me. But when I got there, he said he took some stuff out because his toddler wanted to keep some stuff. So uh, third load, I'm gonna say was $30 as well. Although, like I said earlier, we're gonna put that in with our residential route, but it's very small amount of stuff. So it would be $30 as well. Um, so we have $60 in dump fees today uh, total. And uh, $65 in fuel, guys, this receipt's ripped. I actually haven't put gas in the truck that I use in about uh, two days, because I think this, this video will be on the sixth here. So I, I put 65 bucks in it. I still have gas left, because on the day in total, uh, with those four hours, um, the total drive miles on the truck were like 60 miles, so not too bad. So we got 65, 75. Um, which I still got gas in the truck. So we're just going to call it, uh, you know, 40 miles. We're just going to call it $25 in fuel because that truck towing a trailer doesn't get very good fuel mileage because it was my tall dump trailer. Uh, and then we're going to say $60 in dump fees. So $60 in dump fees, $25 in fuel, guys. And we'll give you the breakdown here of uh, what you got left. Okay, guys. So excuse my chicken scratch here, but we're going to start on the top with our gross sales for four hours today. Um, $725 plus tax over the course of three jobs, uh, $60 in dump fees, $25 in fuel. Remember, those two numbers are very safe. You know, one of the dump fees was 30. The other dump fee is realistically going to cost me like probably $2, $3 because we're just going to put it in with a residential load. But if you couldn't do that, um, if your dump fee minimum was the same as mine, you know, you'd be 60 bucks on the two loads. Uh, and then the third load was paid by Roger. $25 in fuel, again, very conservative. We probably didn't burn that much, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, 60, or uh, sorry, 640 minus 80, that's gonna be 20 bucks an hour. Uh, $80 out of your 640 gives you 560 in uh, profit, if you will. I put this $30 in marketing in here, guys, because um, these three jobs, I one of the jobs was word of mouth. I do a lot of business with Roger. The other two jobs um, were uh, through Google, um, a Google uh, click or lead, I, I don't believe cost $10, but I'm gonna say $10 per lead uh, in this case, again, to be safe. 
um, would be good for a job like this size. So netting out 530 bucks, uh, again, the $20 an hour thing, I know there's workers comp, you have insurances, there's more overhead. I'm just saying I netted $530 into the company today to put towards uh, overhead and your overhead could be different depending on if you have you know a lot of employees, a lot of trucks, a lot of debt, uh, office, whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm finding out, you know, this junk removal thing done like this uh, is pretty awesome. I mean, if you were to double that number and just do three more of those small jobs in a day, those were all small jobs, guys. I mean, drive time was the majority of it and waiting in the landfill. I think each job only took, you know, 15 to 25 minutes total. Um, so, you know, $530, double that up, $1,000 into your company and you paid your man at least for the day. Uh, I, I think this is a pretty cool thing. I'm looking forward to uh, doing more of it in the future. But uh, now let's get into a little bit about the hook lift truck and I'm gonna make a whole video on that in a couple weeks. So all I can say on the hook lift truck guys uh, at this time is it is in the build process. I'll throw a couple pictures in here. Um, we're building it at um, a local shop that I actually used to work at. We're upfitting it ourselves. I will say Swap Loader comes with really, really good instructions. Um, I got a 2022 Ford F600 with a uh, Swap Loader SL145, which is a 14,000 pound or a seven ton um, hook lift. And just yesterday, I also ordered a Harps Tarps tarping system for it. So we're going to have hydraulic up and down, um, gantry system, uh, electronic uh, tarping in and out. And then uh, the hook lift is operated from inside the cab. It's got, you know, switches so you can go in and out, pick your dumpsters up from right inside the cab. You'd only have to get out to really put your boards down. And um, I'm really excited about this truck. Uh, I've been dreaming about this for about 16 months now. Pretty much uh, from the time I was a year into the dumpster business, I was like, man, I really want a truck like this. Uh, I will be selling the trailers. Uh, I will be selling the dumpsters getting out of the trailer game completely moving forward uh, with the business the way that I want to grow it. I'm going to be switching everything over to hook lift dumpsters and uh, and see where it goes from there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into a cost breakdown. I'm going to get into how much did I finance on the truck and how much did I pay cash on the truck uh, all in uh, future videos, guys. So watch out for those. I do um, want to get a slight, like I'm going to get the day I picked the truck up and a little bit of the build series. But it, again, it's not being built at my shop. It's being built at my friend's shop. He's got welders and um, guys that work on heavy equipment all the time. So they're doing it there. So I'm going to have a little bit of footage of that. But uh, mainly once the truck's completely done, I'm going to do a demo video, a pricing video, a review video, everything for you guys that are looking at the hook lift uh, trucks and specifically the Ford F600, which is a newer model um, for the 2021, 2022 uh, year. Um, so yeah, uh, appreciate uh, everything guys. Really excited to bring you those videos. And uh, as always, thank you for the support. Thanks for the likes and subscribes. If you guys like this content and this is the first video you ever watched, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Um, we're going to be coming back at you here every week like we always do. And uh, guys, until next time, thanks for watching.